Hi everybody, Christine here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, hello. Today I will be doing a review on a company that reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review their gel polishes. Now this is what they sent me. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous and it is from a company called Mifa. So perfect. 20 plus 3 gel polishes. Build your style in Mifa. Now like I said, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It opens from the side. So let's open it up. Now each bottle are five, yeah, five mils in in each of the bottles. Let's just put that there. Right inside, you do get a manual. So it says application guide, removal guide, and Q and A. So that's what we've got in there. And then on the back, we've got helpful tips, uh, nail tutorial nail preparation and then warnings okay now it does it, yeah it is numbered from 1 to 20 and then we have a top coat a mat and a base so yeah we've got everything you actually need in this kit and the colors look really nice so i'm going to show you all the colors let's move that over there now they have got barcodes on them i'm not really sure why if i can find that out i should put the put that in the video yeah, if not, I won't be able to. So here is number one. Now, I would have thought you'd be able to back, put, you know, do the barcode so you could see what it is on their site, maybe. Right, so here we have a nice pink. Number two, a nice white. Now, by the looks of these, they do look like they could do with mixing up because I can see they've separated a bit, so probably a good idea to mix them up. This is number three, the coral. Number four, an orange. Number five, a pink. Number six, a deep red. Number seven, a brown. Number eight, a pink. It's like a pinky whitey colour. Number nine, a blue. Number 10, another blue. Number 11, another blue. Number 12, a purple. I feel like I'm at bingo. <laughs> Number 13, this is a yellow. I'm not sure if it's a jelly yellow. It does look a very jelly. But like I said, they do need stirring up. 14, a green. Yeah, I think these must be jellies. 15, a purple. Oh, 16, a gorgeous glitter. That is gorgeous. That's a pretty one. I like that. 17, a gold glitter. Very fine. Pretty. 18, it's, mm, it's like a plum, I think. Plummy colour. It's probably not coming across like that on camera. 20, a black. Okay, so I'm not going to swatch all of them on camera because there's too many and I have showed you the colours. But I am going to do five. So I've base coated five using their base coat. And it's really nice. I do like the bottles as well. They're really cute bottles. I think they look nice on a the shelf. They're really nice. The base and the top have got gold and then the rest are black. So let me just show you the base very nice went on perfect so i've base coated these now five of the bottles i have given them a bit of a shake because yeah you could see that was separating and in the bottles you could see so let's start with this gorgeous pink oh yeah that's really nice very nice and creamy which is lovely it's what you want gorgeous color So yeah, they go on absolutely perfect. So that's the first one, one coat. The second one is this white. They're really nice and creamy. So yeah, oh gorgeous, I've got a fuzzy in there. We don't want that, do we? So that's one coat. They probably will need two coats. 
but I just want to show you what one coat looks like and I will matte and gloss them that's the white number three is this coral oh this is gorgeous color as well it's great it's a great kit for beginners you know if you're just starting out it's perfect you know and they're also perfect for practicing You know, if you wanted some different colours so you can practice and stuff, these kits are perfect because they're so affordable. So that's one coat. Gorgeous colour. And the fourth one is the orange. I do love an orange. <laughs> oh dear, I love every colour. What can I say? They're going on lovely. So that's the orange gorgeous one coat this is five and all oh, this is gorgeous color <laughs> they're all gorgeous this is uh, a few like a is it fruchas fruchas um fruch what are they called the yeah like a like a bright pink i can't think of the word really nice oh they are going to need two coats now i'm going to pop those in the lamp right here's the 20 so what i've done is the first 10 i've done in gloss the second 10 i've done in matte apart from the two glittery ones because obviously they needed to be in gloss now i have given them all two coats okay like i said the bottles did need shaking up for sure but some of them still could do with three coats you know now that's the first 10 let me turn off this light it's a bit glary right okay so that's the first 10 gorgeous colors they're really really nice okay now like i said two coats now if i go like this you can sort of see through them a bit can't you see some of them did did need probably needed three coats because i didn't want to put them on thick i just wanted to put them on you know just normal <laughs> if there is a normal in my life but <laughs> shut up christine but yeah gorgeous colors I'm, I'm impressed they are nice and the top coat really really nice i do like the top coat not too thick um yeah it just went, went on a dream and this is the second 10 in the matte that matte top coat i really like as well it's it's really nice there are all the colours, really gorgeous. Now, this black one, as you can see, it's crinkled a bit. Don't worry about that. It's nothing to do with the gel. It's to do with my lamp, as I've got an old lamp at the minute because I'm waiting to buy a new one from Black Friday sales. So, yeah, don't, don't worry about that. It's nothing to do with the gel. It's to do with my lamp. Now, these two here, as you can see, they needed three coats. You can see, can't you? They did need three coats or you put it on top of uh, a colour. Now, this one here, this one, these two here are jelly ones. They're really, really nice. But I gave them two coats and I gave them the matte because I just wanted to show you. So, yeah, I'm impressed. They're really, really nice. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear up and get some colours together and do a little design. Okay, so I've got everything set up. I'll put on four nails and I just want to show you what nails I used and everything. So I've used the medium, that almond, 123 soft gel e-nail couture, full cover tips, as you can see here. Okay, so I've got three of them on. So I'd like, I'm sorry, four. So I'd like to show you how to put that one on. First, you want to push back your cuticles and take off all your dead skin. I like to use this one or I like to use this one because this one's nice. And I just scrape off all the dead skin around my cuticles. And then I like to use my buffer. 
this one's nice it's not too harsh on the on your actual nail and i take off all the dead skin and i take off the shine off my nail now i am using peel off base coat this is the one i use so i've got peel off base coat on but you would put base coat on and then you would cure and then you know you go through the process so this is what I'm using. I'm using the Solid Nail Tip Adhesive Gel. Now, I just wanted to show you. I have showed, showed you before, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is, okay? So, make sure I'm using my Melody Susie lamp today. Now, I have got a discount code, which I shall leave in the description box. So, please feel free to check it out. Now, don't have the lamp on anywhere near this because, obviously, it will cure. Now, this is how I do it, and this is how I've always done it. I get my nail and I just scoop out a small piece of it like that not too much just like that and what I do is they say you know I mean I'm allergic to everything but these I'm okay with what I do I just get my finger like that and I just push it in and make sure it's in so I'm barely touching it okay now I've finished with this now so I'm going to put the lid on it and move it well out of the way ready to put my nail on now I do like to lean on something when I'm doing it, so I'm gonna put that on there. And then what you're gonna do is once it's all in and it's nice, as you can see, like so, you just get your finger, and I like, like I say, I like to lean on something, and then you get it to the cuticles. Once it's nice to the cuticles, you can gently rock it back, nice and gently, and that is as simple as that, it really is. Now, if you've got any excess, I like to just go like that, move that out of the way because we don't really need that and again just make sure you've got no excess which i haven't and you don't want any bubbles in it because you can see them bubbles there so we'll get rid of those press it back down and that is it and once you're happy with it and you think it's all straight because don't forget you've got plenty of time to mess around with it you can put your lamp on and let's press the top and we'll put it under i might just get that bubble out because I've got a couple of bubbles there and press down and just leave it under the lamp under the lamp until it's cured I think this lamp's on for a minute I don't leave it for a minute it doesn't need a minute under here maybe about 30 seconds and I also like to turn it over so it gets underneath now once it's had a cure in here then you want to put it in your big lamp okay to give it a full cure i like this because on one side it's softer and then i use the hundred so what i will do is i'll go all around the cuticles buff it all around make sure there's no excess here there with these i mean they're great because you, you you don't have to file or anything just buff it all off make sure there's none there and then you want to take the shine off of your nail so i'm just going to give that a good buff now once it's had a buff i just like to do the size just you know make sure they're nice i mean these these nails are perfect so and then once that's all the shine's gone you're ready to go what you need to do is just brush it off you can brush it off with that one i, like, I do like to use this one because it's nice and hard so it gets off all the dust So I'm going to use these colours here. Now I'm going to use the glitter one, this gorgeous glitter, the sparkly one because I think this is going to go gorgeous with the blue, yeah. Now on the this finger here and this finger here, I'm going to use that gorgeous glitter one. I think it's this one. Now I've given this one and this one a base coat, so I'm just going to pop that in the lamp for a minute. Yeah, so this one here, this is the glittery one. This glitter one's gorgeous. Now, it will need two coats of this, maybe. I think we might give it three coats because I want it really, really glittery. Absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty. Now, I'll give those the three. I did give them three coats and i've top coated them okay so they've had a base coat and they've had a cure now i'm thinking not really sure which blue i think i might use that dark blue in the middle you know i've got to put this dark blue in because oh it is so nice 
so I'll paint this one blue now I like to sit it on here and then I can rest it and just go down it just makes it so easy so I'm going to give this nail two coats of this blue as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous okay so it's had two coats and i've matted it now with these two i'm going to use these two blues here now that's them all done with two coats and then the mat gorgeous now what we're going to need is our palette i just want to show you this because people always ask me my sister made this i use it as a palette now we're going to use some clear or translucent acrylic and this is model ones and i put that into this pot and i've also got some enel couture blue bubble glitter and i've also got the clear one in there as well i think it's opal just a little bit mixed up okay now on my palette so we're going to need some blue so i'm just going to put some on my palette okay right i'm all ready <laughs> so we're going to paint a little design on what one should we do first we'll do this one first now i'm just gonna get some off here i think it's i've never done a sweater now before so it's going to be a first i think it's like that yeah i'm sure we'll be all right if not we can just wipe it off can't we so get a little bit on the brush i'm using the glitter bells brush we're not a little bit because you do keep need quite a lot i think and then we're just going to do that <laughs> like so and work all the way down and if it's not thick enough you can always just put some more on Okay, I'm putting a little bit more on because it's I want it to be a bit more thicker. Like so, I'm only gonna put three on. I think that one needs to be a bit thicker. Like so now I'm going to put the line on as well this one is the the baddest liner sorry and then i'm going to go down each of the sides i'm just going to put a nice bit on and then go down it all the way down Listen guys, if it's not right, you can always wipe it off. Yeah, I think that's okay. Might need a little bit more at the bottom. Like so. And then do the other side. What I like to do is I like to get it lined up first. So you want it about, you want it to come to the tip, but that one's over. So we'll just put it about there, I think. Yeah. Lean it on the pot. I'm a bit wobbly because I've just, <laughs> just drunk a coffee. Right. Like I said guys don't worry if you do it wrong you could always just wipe it off right I think that's enough because I want a little bit on the end let's just put that little bit on the end 
Yeah, that's right. And then once you're happy with it, which I think that's enough, I'm going to move this out of the way. You can get your pot. It's very, very glittery, as you can see. Let's get something like a little spoon. I've got this little thing here. And I'm just going to keep putting it over. Until it's all soaked up. Basically, you don't want it to be shiny. So if you can see, see shiny bits, then it's not ready yet. So keep putting it over. Tapping it off a little bit more. Tap off. And keep doing it until, like I say, until there's no shiny bits. about right a little bit more just to make sure and then once you're happy with it tap it off and then just pop it in the lamp to cure so brush off the excess and as you can see it looks gorgeous and it's nice and sparkly as well which is really cool Right, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So move this out of the way. I like to do one at a time. Now this is them all finished. What do you think? I've put some cuticle oil on. Always be careful when you're putting cuticle oil on when you do matte nails. Obviously, I've got a bit there, but it's okay. Let me just rub this in. Yeah, so I'll put some hand cream on as well because my hands were really dry. But yeah, I think they turned out okay for a first go i think they're okay um obviously because they are not super long nails it is quite hard you know it is quite difficult to do it but yeah I've, i had a go and i will do it again <laughs> but yeah i really enjoyed doing the patterns i think it's pretty cool and as for this kit i yeah it's great i love it it's really really nice really nice gel polishes i just would like to thank the company thank you so much for sending me it um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous and would recommend it. I should leave everything, all the details in the description box. And yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I think they're really nice. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm not sure if I've said this, but if, I'm, if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe and press the notification bell. And if you've got any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. I'll always get back to you and I love you all so very much. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And, oh, let me show you my thumb. Did I show you my thumb? Yeah, that's my thumb. The glitter one is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to stop rabbiting now. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye.